Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to introduce you to a scale, but not just any scale, rather a smart scale. I will also show you how to integrate it into Home Assistant, everything else after the intro. As always, have fun. Actually, this device is pretty cool. A relatively inexpensive scale with smart home connectivity. Normally, it can be connected to the Xiaomi ecosystem for the application. However, we will not connect it to their servers at all because the advantage and disadvantage of this device is that it only works with Bluetooth. This means, positively speaking, we can completely isolate this device from the internet, use it as a regular scale, or connect it to this small device here. This is an ESP, a regular microcontroller that allows us to build a bridge, let's call it that, to connect via Bluetooth to the scale and simultaneously connect via Wi-Fi to our home network, thus controlling the data from the scale to be sent where we want it. And that is, of course, as always, Home Assistant. In the past, working with the ESP was always relatively complicated. You had to install firmware and so on. Nowadays, it's relatively easy thanks to ESP Home. And fortunately, ESP Home has added a relatively simple component for the Xiaomi scale, which we will now easily integrate. First, we connect the ESP Home to the Raspberry Pi on which Home Assistant is running. We need to install hacks, specifically the Home Assistant Community Store. If you don't know how to do that, I will link it for you below in the video description. Additionally, we need ESP Home and the file editor. You can easily install these two things through the supervisor. Then go into ESP Home and set up the Mi scale using the example configuration that I have linked for you below. This configuration is actually quite simple. On one hand, you have your Wi-Fi data, which the ESP uses by default to connect to your home network. If the whole setup is currently unavailable, a Wi-Fi hotspot will automatically be created by the ESP, which you can connect to. And there you can simply select your home network again, enter the data, and then it should be connected again. Additionally, we need an external library, specifically the Espousen PBL tracker library. And then we simply add the sensor, which is the scale, it has two different measurement points, one of which is some kind of resistance. This is how the scale is supposed to calculate fat, muscle mass, and so on, as well as, of course, the weight. The only things you need to change in the configuration are the Wi-Fi data and the MAC address. You probably won't know this by default from your use and scale. The good thing is that when you upload everything to the ESP, it will first connect to the Wi-Fi and then search for available Bluetooth devices that are nearby. Of course, your scale will also be guaranteed to be there and it will be displayed in the log with the name My. That means you simply copy the MAC address during the first startup, paste it here, and that's it. If you then flash and restart it again, you should see the ESP as a new device in the settings and integrations, allowing you to integrate it directly and already have these two values. With this, you can now display a scale on a dashboard or track the history of your weight. You could also track different people with a few rules, and that is very, very cool. You can install a small extension from the Home Assistant Community Store. It's called Body Scale and is readily available through the integration. You install everything. Then go to the file editor, create a folder named Components, and within it, a file called Body Scale YAML. You replace the data there, such as your date of birth, your height, and then you add the two sensors, namely the resistor and the weight. And this creates a completely new sensor for you, which, unlike a regular scale, includes calculations such as the BMI, body fat mass, water content, and so on and so forth. With this, you could now create a complete dashboard and essentially set up your own position profile where you have all the values listed that you can then track over time, and so on. This means that you have all the values that you would normally receive more or less through the app directly in Home Assistant, locally, and you can work with them further. You could also set target weights and do fun things, like having a locked door that only opens when you reach your weight or something like that. The possibilities are virtually endless. If you feel like trying this out, I will link the scale and the ESP for you down in the description so you can get them. The total package is estimated to be around 30 euros. For that price, it's definitely a cool gadget. And while I'm not a major expert on scales, I would say that it's actually quite cool for such a smart scale. Of course, I assume that these are not mega accurate measurements, at least when it comes to body fat percentage and so on. 
there are certainly more precise measurement methods or more accurate scales available. But as a little fun, and as a rough guideline, I find the whole thing quite practical. If you're interested, as I said, take a look at it. Otherwise, if you have any questions on the topic, feel free to write them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you again next week on Wednesday at 4.30pm for a new video. Until then, take care and goodbye. Thousand.